West Texas was developed by strong families whose legacies form the culture we enjoy as West Texans. Together with my sisters, Margaret Mertz Ayat and Katie Mertz Johnson, and my cousin, David H. Lott III from Mineola, Texas, and myself, we are honoring our grandfather, Bob Johnston Sr., and his son, Bob Johnston Jr., whose foundation from Pueblo, Colorado, funded this project that we're getting to enjoy. My grandfather and my grandmother, her name was Catherine Duke Johnston. They started a family, so Bob Jr., the middle sister, Ruth Johnston Lott, and my mother, Marilyn Johnston Mertz, were all born on Hackberry Creek at home. So in 1927, they're coming out to San Angelo with everything packed in the car, and they stopped along the way to rest, and they let the dogs out. And the, the kind of hound dogs, they got on a rabbit trail, and they ran away. And so my mother always told the story that the rest of the trip in the car, how dejected Bob Jr. was, because they couldn't wait any longer, and the dogs, the dogs just got away. So they got here to San Angelo, and uh, they, um, my grandfather had leased some land near Water Valley, but at that same time, all of a sudden, the lease for the XQZ, which is between Cristobal and Knickerbocker on Spring Creek and Dove Creek, it came up and it was much better country and better water. So he let go of the Water Valley thing and took on the XQZ and he leased that for 20 years. Well, my grandfather Johnston, uh, Granddaddy Bob, he believed that uh, volume, big numbers and things were really your key to success. And at that time, um, people were still sending cattle to the Osage Territory in Oklahoma. And so he started out uh, do, doing that. Then he decided he liked the Flint Hills of Kansas better, so he would send cattle, cattle there. The, the beginning of the story is, you know, my granddaddy Bob say, knew, knowing that he needed to get out from under being the farmer that his father had really set everybody up to be, wanting to be this cattleman and coming out to San Angelo and always kind of missing the, the, big, the big money deals on his cattle. He ran 10,000 sheep and 1,000 head of cattle at the XQZ over the course of the 20 years, uh, shipping them to the Flint Hills of Kansas. So finally in 1945, he said he finally hit it big, that everything came, came together, and so he, he made about $50,000. Bob Johnston Sr. was able to take advantage of a good opportunity in Pueblo, Colorado on a ranch named Red Top. So Granddaddy Bob bought 46,000 acres in 1945 in Pueblo, Colorado. And when Bob Jr. got out of the Army, he was discharged straight to the Red Top. And his father was still running the XQZ down here. They were a ranching family. And there are lots of pictures of um, my, my mother, Marilyn, Bob Jr., and Ruth on horseback and that they helped with the roundups and they helped and were kind of around when the shearing was there. Joan describes the special quality that drove her grandfather and uncle to success. I thought the, the phrase of creative can-do spirit, you know, because um, they, they could make anything because my, my grandfather, they never really had a lot of money. And so, you know, they, and they lived through the depression, you know, and things like that. So, so he, well, he, my grandfather could make anything. So they were very creative and, uh, and can't, can do. The Bob and Doris Johnston Foundation has benefited many organizations in both Pueblo, Colorado and San Angelo, Texas. The first project we gave to was the Stephen Central Tom Green County Library. Uh, then we gave to the Performing Arts Complex. Uh, I take great pride and being the president of this foundation and trying to do those things with the money that was made in Pueblo, Colorado, but to do things here in San Angelo. This is where Bob was raised, and he has the same kind of commitment to his birth town as what he considered Pueblo, his hometown. So we really do hope to continue and to uh, you know, be able to use that money very wisely and for the enjoyment of many, many others. Thank you to the Bob Johnston Sr. and Bob Johnston Jr. families for their contributions to our West Texas heritage. <laughs>